Hey, it's Dr. Diane, your libido doc here talking today about the benefits of talking about sex. Now, if you've ever been in a situation where you've gone to bed and maybe you've given your partner that signal that you want them to come to bed with you and you want to play and they didn't pick up on the signal, sometimes this can feel rejection, it can make us shut down, or if you've really ever felt that you've, say, come on to your partner only to find that they just weren't in the mood right then, then this particular episode is especially for you. One of the benefits I find of talking about sex is it helps prevent us from missing each other's cues or it at least helps us understand afterwards when we did. So, so many times in relationship, sexual intimacy can fall apart as well as emotional intimacy because we don't talk about those subtle cues. And it can be as simple as, honey, I'm going to bed and a partner being like, okay, see you later. And that was maybe an invitation, right? And it feels like rejection. It can feel like hurt. So, So when we actually bring talking about sex openly to our partner, that allows that safety to say, honey, I'm going to bed. And then following that, if they're not getting the clue with, I want, you know, whatever you want, right? That, that come on, that turn on, that, that draw, that is much more of a clear signal, right? So that safety of creating an environment when we can talk about sex helps prevent those missing, say, cues we give to each other. Another huge benefit is so many times I feel like people miss out from all the health benefits of a healthy sexual life because they are not having the right type of sex, because they're not having the type of intimate relationships that that's making them feel close, connected, cared for, tender, that's releasing good hormones such as serotonin and dopamine, right? They're not getting that buzz. And so when we don't get those good juicy feelings and we don't have that sense of feeling connected with our partner through lovemaking, well, there can be much more of this disconnect than or much less of this desire to go back and do it again. So one of the benefits I find with talking about sex is it allows for, again, the safety, the ability to safely communicate about what you like, what you don't like, you know, what things you want to try, what are your fantasies, right? The more we can make these conversations normal, the more we can not judge our partner if they have some sort of surprising fantasy and make it safe for them to share that with us, right? The more we can hold this container of just exploration and play, the more we can find find these places where we are both really, say, excited by our intimate life, turned on by our intimate life, and interested in our intimate life. And the third reason that I think is important to mention as far as the benefits of talking about sex also is involved with foreplay, right? So what oftentimes we think of as foreplay is that that time, right? Few minutes before you do the big act, right? And it's just kind of like that warm up time. Well, true, not wrong, but successful couples, one of the things that they often do is they are in and out of foreplay with each other constantly, right? So foreplay is all the things that make that other person feel cared for and attracted to and these feelings that we want, right? Desired. All the things that we do between all the acts, that's actually a huge part of the foreplay. And what I find is talking about sex is a great form of foreplay for so many people. It can really start those visualizations. It can start that activation. And for women, especially that most women wind up needing a lot more time to really get the juices flowing and be turned on, that is another benefit. So it can really help with that. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Please take my libido quiz. I made this just for you guys. It's a quiz on how you can get to some of the root causes of low libido beyond, including, but beyond something just like testosterone, right? Because that's certainly not the only cause here. So go take my libido quiz. Please subscribe to this channel if it's helped you and I'll see you in another video.